Morning, lovely viewer. I hope you're well. This year, in my garden at least, we had a very mild winter. The months of November, December, January. I can't even remember having to clear my car windscreen of ice. I can't remember any sort of freezing days. The temperatures for, for that time of year, extraordinarily high, considering it was winter. Now, what that meant was we got a lot of early foliage. Those mild temperatures, I had rosebuds in my garden in February and it was something, it didn't feel right at the time. And I, I did fear and I do fear it's something that will come back to haunt us because we had all that early foliage in February and February it went on to become the wettest month on record, backed up by March. March, the wettest March on record. And now what we're seeing in April are very low temperatures. All this lovely fresh foliage that's that's come out all that water february and march it's a recipe it's a recipe for black spot and whilst we look at our roses now with all this healthy foliage now's the time to to start fighting this black spot i believe now last year as many of you know we had an appalling summer spring and summer very wet and my garden it certainly got hit with the dreaded black spot but this year I intend to do more than just brace myself. This year I'm doing something about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and fight it off for as long as I can because the ingredients this year, I think they're all there. It's just a case of when. And prevention is much better than, than cure as far as I'm aware. And now whilst all our foliage is so sort of healthy looking, now is the time to perhaps nip in and, and do something about it. Now I have already fed my roses with Uncle Tom's, uh, sorry with David Austin's granular rose feed. The mulch has gone down and um, as has the, the granular feed and a lady she she followed me on Instagram for some reason Uncle Tom's rose tonic and I took a look at it and this is something that it does get recommended by many of the the rose areas, the rose experts. I'll film the back here so you can have a have a read yourself. It's a tonic that needs to be diluted. One part tonic to 100 parts water. Um, and you basically, they say the most effective way to do it is at the beginning of the year, just as the roses, they start to leaf. The beginning of the rose season, just as they start to leaf, they say, they call it a root dredge. I wouldn't call it that necessarily because it's 300 millilitres of the diluted tonic mixed with water. 300 millilitres in plain English, that is a decent sized coffee mug. If you imagine a decent sized coffee mug, filling it with that tonic, that is 300 millilitres. So I wouldn't call that a root drench, but they say the best, the most important feed is to put it down as a root drench early on in the year when the leaves are just starting to unfold. That is the most important one. Now, sadly, I've missed that. Now, I spoke to the owner of Uncle Tom's and I, I explained to them, I have already fed my roses with a granular feed, David Austin's, um, and I gave her the MPK. I said, would it be safe? Would it be safe to, to put Uncle, Tony, uh, Uncle Tom's down considering I've relatively recently fed? And she said, sure, no problem. Because even though Uncle Tom's it is classed as a fertilizer, it is a very weak one. It has no nitrogen in it. I can't remember the P and the K, but I'll put it down the bottom here. Um, and that means that because it's got no nitrogen and the fact that it's weak, it's not gonna give us the fresh young stems. And we always look for these lovely fresh young stems, don't we? But it hasn't got any nitrogen, but it has got the P and it has got the K. And as far as I'm aware, or at least the claim is, that strengthens our roses. It might not give us this lovely new growth, but it toughens up the stems, it toughens up the foliage. It makes the roses healthier to fight disease. And I'm told that it gives us, it gives us more flowers. So you add all those things together, the fact that it can be used in conjunction with your normal rose feed. I thought it's a, a no brainer. All those rosarians recommending it. I thought that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do this year. But because I missed the first feed of the year, I'm using it as as a spray. I'm spraying it on until the tonic, the diluted version, I'm spraying it on until it drips. 
and then I'm just letting it soak into the leaves and the, the rose. It will take the tonic, the goodness that way. It just absorbs in the leaves as long as it's not raining. And I'll show you the, um, the mixture that I'm spraying on. And this is something that I'm gonna be doing to once fortnightly. There's two things I'm doing to fight black spot this year. And this is one. Well, in fact, there's a few. I've mulched, I've fed, and now I'm, I'm using this. Now, to apply this, I do apologize if this is a bit Delia Smith. Take that off, squeeze it, and that's 25. That will fill there, 25 milliliters. These sort of sprays that you get, in this country at least, they're usually five liters. You need to put two of those in there, top it with water until it's full, that's five liters. That will give you the mixture. And then it's just a case of spraying it onto, onto our roses. Literally spraying it onto the leaves until it, starts to, until it starts to drip. And now is the time really to get it on. I wasn't gonna make a video. I wasn't gonna make a video until my roses were in flush, but I think this one is perhaps too important to, um, to do it simply because I fear with the weather we've had, this year, we could be in for a, a nasty shock, so I'm, I'm, I'm fighting it. I'm not, I'm not sitting back. I'm not just bracing myself. I'm gonna do something about it. Now, whether Uncle Tom's, whether it will be a silver bullet for black spot or powdery mildew, I, I don't know. I don't think it will. But when we get black spot and we go round and we start to defoliate, these things are all very time consuming. And if, because all roses, all roses will get black spot at one time or another, but it's when, it's when they get black spot. You know, if you have a rose in January that still hasn't got black spot, then you are looking at a very healthy rose, but it's when you're getting black spot in May, June, July. That's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to put off. Now, the climate that we've had, the year we've had, there's no telling when when I'll get black spot, if I'll get black spot this year, but if it saves me time defoliating my leaves, two hours, four hours, 12 hours, or if it delays the black spot coming in, then it have been worth it. So this is what I'm trying. Now, the next thing I'm trying is this here. This is comfrey. I don't know if it's grown in America, but I've got a lot of this stuff. So once a fortnight, I'm gonna be using the sprayer to spray the foliage. And in addition to that, where is my comfrey? I've put it down somewhere. I think I've left it out the front. Yeah, comfrey is something, you delete that plant that I've just showed you. It's on the internet, but look for comfrey tea. Let me just do this. Look for comfrey tea, and what you do is you, you pick the leaves off and you, you put it in a plastic container with a lid on, you fill it up with leaves. In fact, I, I'll be honest, I've used stalks as well. I've separated the flowers, picked all the flowers off, and I've just chopped up the leaves and the stalks and just put it all in, filled it up to the top. And that was full of water, but you see the water, it has dropped down now. You leave that for three weeks and then you dilute that. One part juice to 10 parts water. Now, I've said before, I am useless when it comes to detecting scent, breaking it down, explaining it, giving you the sort of descriptive terms for what I smell. But I can tell you now, I'm an expert on this because that smells of poo. It, it reeks. And that is gonna get poured into my roses again, once every, once every two weeks. Um, it is something that gets recommended, it's organic and with all those things that I'm doing this year, considering I didn't feed my roses at all um, last year, the ones in the ground, this year they are getting a bit of a treat. But now's the time. Like I say, I wasn't gonna make a video. I think now's the time. If you consider the weather we've had, at least here in the UK, it is perhaps something that is waiting to, to happen. And prevention is much better than cure. So that is, that is what I'm doing. What am I gonna leave you with? What am I going to leave you with today? Um, you know what? I'm going to leave you with my favourite anemone. <laughs> and it's this one here. It's just going over. The 
but I do like this one indeed. Right, lovely viewer, I hope you have a lovely day.